In the Clive Barker Podcast, longtime fans Ryan and Jose interview guests, bring you the news, and take deep dives into Barker-related stuff. In episode 472, we're joined by Joe Manko of Little Spark Films to do an audio commentary of the 1989 Indonesian Hellraiser ripoff called Roe. Well, welcome. This is episode 472 of the Clive Barker Podcast, and uh, good morning, Jose and Joe. How are you guys doing? Morning. Hey. Morning, morning. We're away. We're, we're doing an audio commentary today, but we're it, but uh, this is totally different because we haven't actually watched this movie yet. So this is yeah, our first, I mean, first time doing a movie like without having seen it first. Joe, I think you might have seen it. Did you or not? No, I haven't watched not, it yet. Not yet? Yeah. I've right. been putting it off. It's been on my yeah. letterboxed watch list. Yeah, I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to... Um, see our reactions have our we'll capture our reactions authentically as you know as they happen because uh all i know for sure is that it's a pretty major rip off of hellraiser but yeah. <laughs> but it'll be fun to watch and um and before we get to that i do want to thank our patreon members david anderson eric van de holt daniel elvin amanda stewart and our new one uh, Bradley Gartz, he's new to the Patreon, but not new to supporting us. He's supported uh, most of our past Kickstarters. So that's right, and we met you, in Texas. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I think thank he you. lives in Florida now. Yeah, and uh, and of course our returning sponsor, Don Bertram, Celebrate Imagination. So thank you guys. So we're watching the 1989 movie called row which is a big ripoff of hellraiser um roh and i when i was searching for a trailer for this i found out that there's also another movie called row that's like malaysian and it's a horror movie uh, for on it's a more current horror movie in netflix and mm -hmm. i think it's it's a malaysian horror movie with like a little girl in the jungle and she's like an evil little girl sure i saw sure. a trailer for that i'm like this is definitely not the right movie no <laughs> but it's spelled the same and everything. Yeah. So, uh, it, it, like you said, it's it's the Indonesian Hellraiser. And uh, if you guys want a little uh, summary of the movie before we start watching it, it says here <laughs> that, where is that? I was going to pull that up right now. Here it is. It says, Nadia does not get along with her recently widowed father, Bramasto, who has recently remarried to a wicked woman, Astria, <laughs> Julia. Astria cheats on Bramasto with his brother, Lukito, a black magic practitioner, and Astria becomes involved in the evil rituals. Nadia discovers their devilish ways and steals the magical box that acts as a conduit for Lukito's evil abilities. So, you know, and then we go from there. Basically, yeah. evil stepmother... Uh, evil uncle, magic box, demons. It's that simple. Yep. <laughs> oh man. There's okay. actually uh, some fan subs that were made for this movie where they actually just some guy just pulled in a bunch of dialogue lines from Hellraiser for the particular scenes where it's it's schlepped from Hellraiser. Yeah. And it's kind of funny to look at that. But that's I think not what that's not what we're going to do, though. We want to see what they're actually, you know, what they actually the movie they made with English subtitles. This might well, be dodgy. Yeah. Yeah. Someone... Subtitles. Yeah. It says it's a uh, Google Google translated. So is it AI generated? It It's. They got the Indonesian subtitles and then someone pulled them through Google Translate and put them in the movie. So it's going to be a little dodgy at times. Yeah. All right. Well, Joe, do you want to do the countdown? Sure. We're just going to hit do the countdown and, and then push and, uh, play. And then we all push play at the same time. Okay. So here we go. Let's uh, do this. Uh, I have my subtitles already set. So I think to... I do too. To the English translated. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Row in three, two, one, action. There we go. All right. Ooh. This looks like oh. shit. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> the best copy we could find. Yeah. Well, and I'm watching it on a 4K TV, so it came out like a postage stamp. So I had <laughs> to kind of stretch it out quite a bit. Yeah. So it looks like uh, the equivalent of Ludovico House, uh, Ludovico Street 55. Yeah. And that's our Frank, our Indonesian Frank. Yeah. It, it, he's, his puzzle box looks like it was made out of a hollowed out coconut. 
<laughs> it sure does. <laughs> uh, oh, so that must be Larry Rory person. I think so. <laughs> and uh, Kirsty? Bramasto. And uh, yes. Nadia is our Indonesian Kirsty. Yeah. One thing that uh, caught my attention because I was trying to make sure the subtitles worked is there's almost zero dialogue in this movie. It's really hard to find a place to test the subtitles. Yeah. But it, it visually works and uh, hopefully that the fact that there's not a lot of dialogue will uh, will make sure we don't get a lot of weird subtitles. Yeah. Oh. That's... Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you said. He's like he's trying to stick his knife inside a a, a magic box that's almost like a a sphere, right? Yeah. Like a skull. Well, it is a sphere. <laughs> yeah, it's not a coconut. I mean, it's not a puzzle and box. He stuck a stick in the coconut. Yeah. It oh, he like turned little, it into uh, like a scarecrow. Yeah, it's got a triangular nose hole, and then it's got it's oh, like oh wow, a it's like pumpkin. it looks like a jack o' lantern now out of a coconut. Oh, it's noisy. Yeah, I need to turn mine down a little bit. I think uh, so. This guy is probably doing the black magic. Oh, it even, it even has eyebrows. The Who's that guy? Wall. Quickest path to gratification. I think this is uh, a, a wizard telling him what to do. He's remembering. Oh. So that, that would this, be like cursor. The ball is going to give him pain and pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading the subtitles. <laughs> I guess that's his master. My oh, subtitles my. didn't come on. I have to. The laughing. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So is this Julia and, Fra and Julia and Larry? I think. That's probably it. That was a lot quicker than on Hellraiser. It's Austria and Bramasto. What did she say? My subtitles aren't coming on. Yeah, it's a little mine either. Well, they're really not saying anything. <laughs> That's uh she screamed at what kind of what kind of man are you? And he's I like, think they I don't all live know. together. <laughs> yeah, I think they all live together in the same house. So So Frank's not dead in this one? No, apparently is lives upstairs, I guess. <laughs> okay. So Rory's just a cuckold. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we just saw Austria give him a, a then significant they don't smile. Have to, have to pay for a flashback to a wedding. Flashbacks cost a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's finally some subtitles. Oh, there okay. we go. Yep, there's I'm seeing him too. This camera operator needs to be fired. Yeah, yeah it's I... like when you when you tighten the tripod too much, and then when you try to move it, and it kind of jerks. Just this guy doesn't have any composition. <laughs> like he can't yeah. frame anything properly yeah I think this this might also be a really bad pen and scan oh you think so i think so i genuinely believe oh like maybe it is... was filmed in 4.3 and they stretched it out to fit it to make it widescreen yeah mm. no oh, yeah. i think i think this is full frame i think it was genuinely shot in full frame yeah, and they stra and they uh, and they cut off the top and bottom to make it widescreen. No, I mean like it. It looks like 1080p on my end. Donnie, you're gonna Ooh. meet Papa. So Donnie is uh, uh, Ooh, Austria's yeah. birth uh, boyfriend, I guess. Oh, okay. Like Steve. Steve. Yeah. Well, Wait, the soundtrack's so not as good. Nope, not at all. <laughs> it's just this cheapo, like, library music piano. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's so weird that everybody lives in the same house here. Yeah, and they've got a spiral staircase. I it's really horrible trying to move a couch up those. And and one thing that I'm noticing, everybody looks the same and they all look the same age. So it's a little yeah. confusing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of uh, one of you is the dad. Well, I, I don't I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um Yeah, which one is he again? I think that... that's I is think that that's the, boyfriend? the uncle. No, that's this is that's, the uncle, I think. That's the Frank. Yeah. That's yep. Frank. And the one that's, that was there earlier, Steve, that's the boyfriend. Yeah, that this is Lukito, the, the black magic practitioner. Lukito is Frank. Austria oh, okay. is the wicked woman, Julia. And this is this Kirstie. is Kirsty. Okay. What's this all about? Wait a minute. Okay, Never no. Mind. She must be the Julia then. I, I think this is the lust that they're feeling uh, really towards each other. Oh, that's that's why there's the fire there. Yeah, this that's is that, uh, that is so bad. What? Oh, and now God. they're taking a shower together. Huh. I hate this so much. I was literally going to say the same thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you have that I want? Yeah. Okay. That... Sex. The yes. yeah, it's kind of like um I guess that's like that's like um it's never enough. The the house is uh bigger than the one in Hellraiser, it seems. Yeah. Yeah. This one's a bit more bougie. Yeah. The house in uh Hellraiser was a bit more homey. But I the puzzle that box house. is just a carved out coconut with a jack o' lantern face on it. <laughs> like what? Yeah, you stick your fingers in it like a bowling ball. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god, it's spinning. They put a flashlight in it too. Nice. Holy crap. Oh god. No, it really looks like a jack o' lantern. He's smiling. Uh-oh. So who, dire- who directed oh. this? Like, whose idea was it to make this movie? Uh, the director is Susilo SWD. I don't know what that means exactly. That sounds like a name. Dude, did you see what happens? What oh, oh, there, title credits. card. What's the time stamp? Eight yeah, minutes, the title's eight cut off on the sides. Yeah, that's why I was saying I think this might be somehow eight a bad pen seconds. and scan. Yeah. So but I'm going to go to my letterbox list and put that, and there's a title card. Henry Tarando. Tarando. Henry. Heng Heng Key. Oh, Pong Hard Jatmo. That's a great name. Someone you know, he was the guy Pong. in that other movie. What, what other movie? You know, the one. <laughs> the one with the guy <laughs> named Paul. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, producer. Oh. Here's who to blame for this. <laughs> yeah. Matani and Susilo SWD is the director. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Is SW... Well... So on on um, on IMDb they put SWD with periods in between like it stood for something, but they on here they didn't and it made it look like that was the person's name with no vowels in it. Oh yeah, this is that uh, dinner with the doctor friends and stuff, right? The awkward dinner. Yeah. So instead of being a housewarming dinner, it's just uh, he's just entertaining. Yeah. Other students and stuff. This is the night of the paper hat. Yeah, that's right. Luki is a strange person. Yeah, that's his uncle. Uh, her uncle. Okay. Man, I should have written down the character names on here because I, I, it's I have a hard time remembering now which which one is which. Yeah. I cannot Ooh. find this movie on Letterboxd. Oh, Christy. really? Uh, 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 the Kirsty just did a jab at Julia. She said, "I think she knows Lukito very well." Meaning that they do it. They do yeah. it. <laughs> that means Kirsty's been watching. Yeah, and she's like, "Okay, I'm gonna retire." Are they all drinking orange juice? Yes, looks like it. <laughs> They're having orange juice for dinner. <laughs> yeah. What was yeah, that? Right? They don't have it. They don't have any food. They're having sunny delight. <laughs> Oh, right. it's sunny it's sunny oh look the torture pillar hey oh. they just they pulled that right out of hellraiser and they recolored it 
You think that's the same footage? I think. No, he's got a mustache. Whoa. No, not this. Not this. This isn't the same. But the torture pillar, I think they pulled out of Hellraiser. This is what Lukito is doing instead of attending the dinner. Oh, my God. What a schlep. Eyeballs. Let me turn them towards the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, Here's yeah. A, and I'm going to eat the liver. Hey, quit looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so goofy. it's so goofy yeah wow also this movie oh, is man. shorter than hellraiser isn't it like a, an hour and two minutes or something like that it's it's got a shorter runtime. it's i got 73 minutes on my copy oh, okay yeah so a little longer than i was saying oh so here she is so uh austria went upstairs to the damp room and she's going to come across what happened to uh, Frank or uh, Lukito? Oh, now he's going to cut his finger, maybe. Mm. So that's the Rory Larry. Wait, then who's that guy? This guy is that's your oh, dad. Papa. I, th I thought yeah. he just left, but he came back again. Yeah, that's uh, Larry. <laughs> yeah. Why did he go off the camera and then come back again? Because that's what the director told him to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when it comes to weird, stupid stuff like that, that's the only answer I got. <laughs> yeah. It's because he read the script. The director's like, wait, wait, get back. You're, you just wandered off frame. Get back in there. Okay. <laughs> I that's can't, a really I, nice house. This, I... I highly doubt this was shot on celluloid. This looks like it was shot on VHS. Yeah, I the bet you right. Yeah. But also, if the, everything's cut off, it. I mean... Yeah, somebody... Are these, people, are these people incompetent enough to put uh, title cards on the movie in whatever VHS editing bay they were using and be okay with titles being chopped off? <laughs> I mean, because I guarantee this is not. Yeah, celluloid. I bet you th this is this is some kind of uh, version that that got re-edited to fit on widescreen TVs later. Yeah, and so they just—I bet you—they just chopped it. You know, they cut the top and bottom off, <laughs> and some of the sides for some reason. This director did at least four movies on IMDb. Oh, I, are they all as good as this one? 72, 73, 74, and oh, 84. Look, chopping up a chicken, that's important. Wait I a minute, what's that... going on? I thought Frank was dead already. No. What? Uh... No, Frank ain't dead. Frank. But the, he just got Technic... chopped into little bits by the Cenobites and his eyeballs no, were on that's the floor. True. Huh. Oh, there we go. He just chopped himself cutting chicken. Or is, like this a, when, is this a flashback from Julia? It might be a flashback or at least attempting to be a flashback. They don't they don't do enough to make it clear. Or this is the scene where Astria goes to the damp room and she sees like the ghost of Frank. I don't know. I like oh, that, that's, ho yeah, that Hobbit Julia's, hallway they've got there. When Julia's up top and she's having her dirty memories. Recollection. About yeah, I think that's then, what they're trying to emulate. Yeah. And then instead of uh, Larry getting his hand cut by the nail in the wall, bringing up the mattress. Yeah. He cut his hand making a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> See, she's just standing there. Being horny. Spacing out. Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm going to walk. I'm going to run all over the house looking for her instead of trying to find a bandage or something. I can't look at blood. He doesn't seem to be that upset about the blood. Yeah. Well, he's he's also not a good actor. Oh, you know? there's the blood dripping. See on the that floor. that blood dripping? That's taken straight out of Hellraiser. They just that looks it. like it. Yeah, yeah. That does you think look that's like the it. exact shot? I do. Like, yeah, they just, like they just pulled it out of editing. Yeah, because I think the shot in Hellraiser, obviously in slow motion, when the blood drips, but I want to yeah. say the angle's a bit more level and mm. tighter yeah. on the blood hitting. Um, yeah. That one was just like. Here's a camera. Point at it. it was yeah. <laughs> that but little I mean, cut on. Absolutely yeah, no imagination in this movie. No. No. 
and that the way that he cut his hand and the reaction to it it's like why even put that in the movie because it, it didn't feel like there was any drama or tension with that no. scene at all no like, well and i wonder if the people of indonesia watched this movie and understood oh. what was going on you know it's like we all know that this is a ripoff of hellraiser so we have that context but for people oh. who have never seen hellraiser would they Aren't these oh, scenes look. pulled straight out of Hellraiser? I, I I don't think so now. No. I think they're just poor attempts. Yeah. Um there's a lot more oh, Well, this is this is new. I mean, it oh, was made to made to look the same, but I mean, I'm 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 thinking that they did their best to yeah, emulate every angle of Hellraiser whatsoever yeah. without actually pulling from some yeah. video oh, copy look, that a, they got. a box of garbage in the corner oh oh look uh, uh, the uh, skull uh, uh. oh this is great it's done in like stop motion yeah if you want to call it that ew i mean this is kind of cool yeah it's I mean, like it's it's pulsating and there's well, like all this this is their whole budget right i mean the, obviously they didn't put it into the acting or the it's horribly lit they didn't put yeah. it into a gaffer either yeah and this what is, is the basic uh, most basic stop motion you can do which is like put something on it take a picture put something on it take a picture yeah yeah there we go pretty much he's got a lot of empty space in between his brain and his skull yeah look, this is yeah. fun though this is a fun yeah. thing i'm I'm digging this yeah the, i mean it's really oh. impressive i couldn't do this obviously i mean a lot of what we've seen up to this point was pretty amateur but this is like Im impressive yeah all right so this is the resurrection because yeah because uh bramasto's blood fell on the floor lukito is back yeah Oh, did you see the eyes like fill in the sockets? That was that was interesting. Yeah. Finally, I found it. <laughs> R H O on our R O H on letterboxed. Oh. It is called Spirit. Oh, directed by. Oh, ghostly scream. Okay, yeah, ghost pirate. Cecilio S W D. Yeah. And Spirit. I, it's the same exact. It's the same exact uh, thing that uh, one of y'all read earlier about the synopsis, but it's got well, a out of five you, star. Huh? Can you can you send us the link to that? We'll put it in our show notes so people can use that to watch along. The letterboxed. Yeah. Okay. Share. Copy. Bye, honey. Have a great day at work. I'll stay here with Devil Head Slime. <laughs> all right so oh thank you yeah we'll, of, huh we'll put that in the show notes so people can watch yeah well well yeah what's cool about letterbox is that sometimes you could find uh it will tell you where you can watch the movie but yeah. i only have one person on my friends list on letterbox that has actually watched this movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah and out so of row must be a, a direct a spirit must be a direct translation of the word row Maybe That's probably right, yeah. Yeah. That of the five stars, it is really middle of the road when you look at the ratings. Yeah. Like nobody actually hates this movie, but no one loves it. It's like an average of three. <laughs> yeah. Only 183 people on Letterbox have watched this movie. We don't get a pinhead in this film. Yeah. What? But but we do get uh, some interesting emulations of uh, the female Cenobite. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and log <laughs> That's in. where Joe draws the line. Like, like what? There's it. no pinhead. <laughs> oh, wow. Even that has is, a scene that is of one, Frank grabbing her uh, ankle. Well, that's one stripey outfit. Stripey. Okay, I'm doing I'm doing an experiment. I switched to the... Uh, Hellraiser I'm lucky sense. Lukito. <laughs> Wait a minute. Show him again. Oh, I know man. that guy. He's all blue and yellow. Lucky Lukito. Yeah. Astria. 
Yeah. Uh, his oh, from Bram's wound has returned my body back to life. Actually, these these subtitles aren't bad, right? Yeah, they're not bad at all. Yeah, it's a it's definitely enough to help you understand it. And, and Joe, I wonder if your letterbox version has English subtitles on it. No. No, oh, I mean yeah. it's just it's just uh it's just an app to rate movies and stuff. Uh but so, like I said, sometimes like if you put in like a Deadpool Wolverine and you put in letterboxed and you yeah. go to the you can see it'll say like you could watch it on Disney Plus and Prime and yada oh, yada okay. yada. But okay, so Letterbox one, doesn't have the movie then to watch. Doesn't have the movie, no. Oh, it's okay. just like a site for reviewing and nerding out oh, and I see. making lists. Like okay. the like the zombie the zombie extended universe lists. That starts right. with Night Living Dead and goes all it's like 30 movies. Like that's yeah. all that's all letterboxed is. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Like this this scene was just cropped terribly. Like you can't even see her head and you can't see his body. Yeah. But that escalated quickly. He was like, I need blood. And she's like, Maybe I could kill your yeah. brother. And he's yeah, like, I No, think, I, I didn't say I, you would need to kill my brother. I think it would be tough to see this in its original presentation. It seems like it's been kind of mangled and chopped up and stuff. More tough oh, yeah. than now. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> tough to find it. Oh, look. It's the showdown between Julia and, and Kirsty. Yeah. They, they got to it pretty quickly. Everything in this movie is kind of uh, accelerated. Mel- melodramatic. Yeah. I like her side ponytail. <laughs> Doo-doo-doo. Nadia is blooming and beautiful. Oh, it's the part where he says, You've grown, you're beautiful. So yeah. think he's made out of mush- marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> Audio commentary with the Clyde Barker podcast on this. Hey, look, they got a pool. Frank pool. didn't have a house with a pool. No, because they were in yeah. England. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great garden. Like a jungle. Yeah. Now, this is what we call padding. Yeah. Let's get to know the boyfriend before he presumably gets killed. I have no idea. <coughs> there. I just logged um, ROH on Letterboxd. So my last four watched are Valerie on the yeah. Stairs, Multiplicity, Body Double by Brian De Palma. Now mm. ROH. <laughs> That's a rather uneven set of movies. That's my letterbox. <laughs> if you look, my letterbox account says uh, I have a total of 2,901 movies logged. 440 are for this year. Wow. I might, I might have two or three different accounts that <laughs> would like one or two movies there in each one. And then I well, keep forgetting to use it. Oh, yeah. Once you get in the habit, it's like, yeah. Sure. I love it. We got more horniness, more more uh, horniness of Austria thinking that she's gonna. Yeah, it's, do so this it is with... a f- flashback again, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Nice. Lucky Lukito. It's, it's never, never enough. enough. <laughs> you you can just see the shot. It's almost like yeah. I wouldn't say shot for shot, but there's a lot of shots that are. It, it's they they total paid a, they paid really close attention. You think they just had a, a Betamax or VCR on on set, and they were like, "Play the movie, stop it." Okay, let's do that. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, like l- probably. like when like when you're tracing a drawing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she's gonna go to the damp room. Damp room. Got to visit visit Frank. Put a dehumidifier there, for God's sake. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's he's looking pretty moldy. He's dried out. He's drying out. <laughs> it's like I switched to um I switched to the fan subs from Hellraiser for a while. And this is like where he says, every drop of blood puts more flesh on my bones. Yeah. Wait, so the fan subs, they literally just take the subs from Hellraiser? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they do. I think I, I personally I think that's kind of lame. It's like if we're yeah, trying to watch yeah, the yeah. movie, you just want to I mean, we all know what see if from there. With the trash they made, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we so all guess... know what the what they're copying in Hellraiser. Well, 
it's funny, like I do the Hellbound Laments and everyone's like, oh, you're just trying to do a cash grab. And these people literally ripped off Hellraiser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just did some you, fan films, you y'all. You, you weren't do a cash grab. You're just, what am I cash you're help, grabbing? <laughs> you're, yeah, I know. You're helping out uh you're helping out Max to sell puzzle boxes. And Max and Derek. Yeah. Also, it was fun to do that. Yeah. Wait, that escalated quickly. So so Austria killed the Bramasto? Oh. I think. Think so? Did she? Well, I think she just heard him. Like when? Oh, this Frank... is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. This oh, is Christie's for nightmare. God's sakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because she woke up and she she thought she woke up and she saw her dad with a stab wound, but yeah. then, yeah, it was just a, a dream. I think that um, they do a really bad job of separating reality from fantasies and and dreams in this movie. Hey, the kiss. They've got a what? kiss poster. Yeah, Kiss they, Army. I bet they didn't pay for that license then. Mm. <laughs> Given or how the this Hel- movie's or, playing out. <laughs> or or Hellraiser licensing. <laughs> the Kiss would have eaten up the budget. <laughs> yeah. I had a bad dream about you. Why you you're that you were wearing a woman's bathrobe. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, it totally looks like it. Yeah. Like, ha, ha, ha. That's so funny. I'm going to switch the phone to my other ear. (laughs) (sighs) Okay. So this is, this is still um, Bramasto. And there's Lucky Lukito. Mm -hmm. That's a kind of a decent makeup, though. I mean, in a a kind of. uh, yeah, yeah, because we're we're expecting the the budget on this to be like micro budget. Looks like someone chewed a whole bunch of gum and just put it all over that guy. <laughs> I wonder if this house is one of the producers' houses. Oh yeah, yes, sure. I'm. Yeah, it's got it, it, it. It's just it looks like it's just some mansion, you know, Indonesian mansion. You can save a lot of money in production. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody yeah. likes Carlsberg beer. What's Carlsberg beer? I, I like I Carlsberg know. beer. It's you, Dutch, I think. No. Oh. This is what, 1989? Yeah. Yep. So Sorry. two years after Hellraiser came out. Oh, we're at the bar where she's going to pick up a victim. Oh, yeah. Did you see that eyebrow raise that she did? Oh, right. Yeah. Like, hey, baby, looking for a good time. That's 88. I'm almost there to 1989. Here we go. Here's a green drink for you. It's Romulan Ale. Yeah. (laughs) It's a a Snapple. This movie came out around the same exact time that Heather's the McPherson tapes and the documentary "This Is Horror" came out. Oh, well, but not in uh, not in Indonesia, probably. Well, I mean, according to Letterbox, that's the order <laughs> yeah. that those movies. Yeah. Oh, you can't see it. My phone is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Here, I'll I'll do that. I'll screenshot it. So Austria's gonna start hitting the local bars and getting men. Then she comes home yeah. and she's gonna hit him in the head with a hammer. They're kind of dragging this out a little bit to pad it. It's funny because Hellraiser seems to move faster with a lot more packed into it. <laughs> yeah. This movie is cut out so much and it's going Yeah, so it fast slow. forwards the action, but then it drags out the pe- scenes of people just talking to each other. Right there in public, guys. Is that is are they in public or is she back at the house? Oh, it's hard to tell. What is this? Oh, it's a bar, this, I think. It's supposed to it's oh, looks she, like somebody went home. Okay. I th- I think they went from the bar to home and now she's saying yeah. let's go upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, so but they they skipped all the traveling in between, so it's sure. kind of confusing cuz the bar sure. looked similar to the house. So the the woman who plays Austria here, her name is Annie Beatrice and she also did a movie called Virgins from Hell. Yeah. yeah. Wow. In 1986. And then 
Bramasto, the dad, is Pong Harjatmo. Yeah. He's the one who was in that movie. Right, that movie, yes. <laughs> and Lucky Lukito is Henki Tornando from a movie called Black Magic Annihilation that he also did mm-hmm. in 1989. Whoa, look at all those. Is that a bunch of spears and stuff on the wall? Yeah. Yeah. And a hatchet? It's weird, right? <laughs> I mean, I was looking at that earlier while she was there and, and uh, her husband was calling for her. And then I was yeah. like, what are those spears? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, he took his shirt off immediately. Yeah. Oh my god. He's like, let's get it on. Dude, this guy's got no composure. <laughs> oh, she you just, hammer. What, what did she just hit him with? Was it a an axe? A blunt object. <laughs> I thought it was an yeah. axe. It looked but, almost like a I mean the, the quality is so bad that it's hard to tell what it is. Something she ripped off the wall. Yeah, oh, I mean yeah, it, it looked like almost a silhouette of a thing. So maybe the maybe that room has like weapons on the wall because she's putting it back. See, yeah, she what literally is that? Just ripped. It's some kind of like weapon. It's yeah. It's like don't some, look at me. Something you can kill someone with. Mm-hmm. He's gonna eat him. I like how this Frank sounds like he's not in any agonizing pain. He just talks yeah. normal, no yeah, inflection, right? right. I'm just crawling around, my skin off and exposed, my muscle yeah. exposed. He, I'm he's the actor that was willing to get in that all of that. That was the skinniest man they could find in Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, I, exactly. I'm going to say it. I think this almost looks like if one of Clyde Barker's paintings came to life, just because of how much color is in it. Oh, yeah. It just I came know. off the canvas and is like, I'm covered in paint. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a See, that's man. not a hammer. It's that doesn't oh, look man. like anything. Then it's that like kind of an axe or something. He would go it's take got a like shower a... and all the, the shower would rinse off all the paint and he'd just disappear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna write that now. Your, Your body's, body's getting, getting better. better. It doesn't no, look not. better to me. It looks the same. Yeah. He kind of he looks like the baseball player from the Warriors. Eternity way process immediately reality. That's a bad subtitle right there. Yeah. I have no idea what that meant. Yeah. That's just a Google translation. Well, and sometimes, yeah, sometimes languages, I mean, phrases and stuff don't translate very well. Right. Oh, oh, Fra- uh, 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 Bromasto is home. Oh, that's a nice dress. Bromasto. So she doesn't have blood all over her. I mean, Julia had to. You know, a whole scene of trying to wash off while and she's she panicking. Had, <laughs> she had some blood on her neck, but then she's got a red dress. Yeah, yeah, because red dress can just smear off on the neck. Yeah, in Indonesia. <laughs> in night, <laughs> I'm back from my job that nobody knows what it is. Actually, do we even know what Larry did for a living? No, I don't think that ever was mentioned. Right? Yeah. Larry looked like he sold insurance. We know that Kirsty worked at a pet shop. I think Julia probably, I would see Julia selling like real estate or something. Right. That's what I was going to say. She yeah. looks like a realtor. Yeah. Like when he says, uh, you're back on your own turf. I don't know. Yeah. I, I get Why that is, vibe. She's getting like completely doused in water. Yeah. Yeah. To get off one drop of blood on her neck. Yeah. There you go. Looks better. She's Lady Macbeth. Okay. <laughs> Out damn spot. <laughs> yeah. Shakespeare references, people. <laughs> that's, that's what we're reduced to. And Nadia's getting the, the bad vibe that something's going to happen to her dad. Back in the 80s, when people would still wear their belts and jeans in the house. As soon as I get home, it's like, pants off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm working at home, I'll get fully dressed and like, you know, I'll, I'll even put my shoes on just so I feel like I'm awake and working. Oh, yeah. Because if, if I'm in comfy clothes all day, I'll I will stop doing things. <laughs> Uh. 
I've actually done work with a Snuggie on. And it, <clears throat> it is true. You start getting really sleepy and I'm like, man, I don't want to do this. Yeah. You have to really put yourself together like you're leaving the house to work. But you or you don't. can be drinking coffee until three in the afternoon. <clears throat> or whiskey at 11 in the morning. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're going to do a lot of work with that. Yeah. There's she's back at the bar. I, I think that this soundtrack is just some kind of like uh, music that was like, you know, had no rights to it. It's like know, library like a, music. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's what it is. Like, it's I think really, what, really generic and bad. What Romero did. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. For the first night of the living dead. Yeah. Well, he also did that for Dawn of the dead. I like how did they he? put a fire bar well, in front of the camera for these flashback scenes. Like, yeah, like that's, it's hellish. That's how yeah. you know it's steamy, man. It's steamy. <laughs> God. But no, yeah, uh, I think Romero, he used library tracks also for Dawn of the Dead, but Argento came in and brought Goblin. He created the yeah. Goblin super band to do the Italian versions. And so there's yeah. a couple versions where it's like there's a Romero cut. Yeah. There's the Italian cut. Yeah, I have a, I have cut. a, I have a, dvd set that's got four cuts in it yeah i think we got the same one but i uh, wish they would put that on 4k i want to get an update of that i don't really watch dvds that much anymore oh yeah i think if you have like a 4k player or uhd player or whatever it'll still play the dvds uh the playstation 5 won't it's just a jerk there's no reason why it shouldn't be able to but you, there's no app to download to make it play dvds or cd oh. or cds Huh, that sucks. Yeah, but the the Xbox One X will play DVDs and CDs. It just says, hey, you need to download an app for this, and then you do it, and it's fine. I, I remember that being one of the coolest features about PlayStation when I was a kid, was that it could play yeah. your CDs. Yeah, or the Sega CD or the Sega yeah. Saturn. Yeah, listen to your music I, yeah. off the TV. <laughs> yep. I like how Frank is telling Austria uh, that he needs more blood because he deserves happiness. Does he? That's, yeah, that's what he said. I need to be uh, restored to normal because I deserve happiness. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's a great way of um, yeah. convincing her. Oh, my God. That room is so weird with all those spears and uh, axes on the wall. <laughs> yeah. it's the murder room. The murder yeah. attic. Yeah, and, an and she, drags, she, she drags people up there like, pay no attention to the weird weapons that I've got <laughs> on the wall. I think she's picking up a man at an aquarium shop. <laughs> specifically <laughs> shot for aquariums oh god they don't sell fish though he's like oh <laughs> he's so excited yeah his eyebrows went up i love pretty fish like like millhouse <laughs> she's dressed in a, like a, a white dress this time that's yeah. uh yeah, Why don't she you should go just, to my place. There's a lot. She of should just wear stuff. a wear a garbage bag, like in in uh, American Psycho. Yeah, that was the quickest pickup I've ever seen. Oh, there you go. That I think that that prop is not is is a. Uh, it's like some a, a some weird object. hand handmade thing. It's a, like a hammer, but yeah, it's with like a, a elongated thing. Honestly, right. I want to say that's like a. Not like a pickaxe. It look you know? it looks a little bit like a sickle, mm -hmm. but I it's not a, a blade. I think that's a real type of tool that you can use for like mining, uh, or or you know chopping up wood or mm -hmm. something. But it's like but it's it's like a hammer with a mm. with a pickaxe kind of end. That's I don't know. I mean I've seen something like that before. I don't think it's some piece of trash they made up and through there i think yeah. they were just like you hey we so? have this thing that's a, on the wall. you think it's a real tool yeah well and right. anybody out there who's watching or listening along you know let us know what do you what do you think that weapon is look no, another no flashback. flashback of this why is this happening that's a cenobite with sunglasses back there that's how you do it is this a flashback, or is he explaining to her what happened to him? I guess we gotta keep watching. I guess we should pay attention. <laughs> it's hard. I think, a, I think it's, it's really a flashback. Hard. I think it's a flashback. They do such a terrible job of separating flashbacks from reality. 
There was just a, a, a half a second wipe, and that was how we know that that was a flashback. Yes. See, he was mm-hmm. he was showing Austria mm-hmm. what happened to him. Yeah. Oh, eyes. Do oh, did she look in the eyes of the coconut to to see the that? Right. Yeah. She put her eyes in the coconut <laughs> and stir it all up. <laughs> I love water. <laughs> Let's dedicate at least 30 seconds to me drinking a glass of water and going. Ah. <laughs> All right. She's doing her nails. Okay. Yep. He's drunk. He's like, hey, you're hot. Uh I think this is going to be the part where Frank is pacing in the attic and uh, yeah. Julia kind of. And he skins the rat and stuff. Yeah, let's see. Let me pet oh, you like, like a cat. Like I said, I just don't understand how you can cut so much out of a story you're ripping off and still move slower. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. This kind of makes me feel like when we watched Hellraiser Revelations. Yes. You know, because it's like the stuff that they did that was that was copying hellraiser felt like an insult i understand what you're saying yes yeah oh, i don't know if i like this or hellraiser revelations better <laughs> i don't know either it's, in the original hellraiser right it was like they were watching violence on tv there was a thunderstorm going and it kind of adds oh here it is there's they were a, watching a boxing match yeah yeah here's a, a thunderstorm yeah. But the thing is, for some reason in this one, they decided to have Bramasto and and uh and her start kissing she, before she is distracting him uh, about Frank. So Yeah. Yeah, they didn't get the subtlety of it. Yeah. You know, the other day upstairs. the other day when we when we when you guys just like, hey, we're gonna watch this and do a commentary. I was really hoping this movie would have been like the old 1930s Dracula where they did an English version during the day and then a Spanish version oh, <laughs> overnight. <right. laughs> and they just use the same everything. And yeah. obviously that's not what happened here. <laughs> uh no. <laughs> they no, were like this is a this is like a fan version almost of Hellraiser. Did you guys see Bramasta went upstairs with a freaking sword in his hand? They've got pistols on the wall right behind yeah. them there. Oh, there's Frank. Everywhere you go, they've got weapons hanging on the wall. It's it's paints kind of a bleak picture of life in Indonesia. Or this yeah. producer's house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There he is. Oh, he's looking better. He's looking more red and less moldy. He looks like a walking potato now. Or pizza. Pizza the hut. Pizza oh, the God. hut. Let's see if you can see this. What's the, oh, yeah. I have that one. Yeah, but th- this is Hellraiser Revelations with Clive Barker drawing the glasses on on Pinhead. Oh, <laughs> you, you he did that for you? <laughs> you? Well, for Mark Miller, they sold it. He sold it on eBay. Mark Miller. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just can't understand you. Yeah, one minute you're all over me, and the next, I looks just like, can't understand. He oh, here's like the moment he over her. Yeah, yeah, this is where he's going to talk to Kirsty about, I don't know what's wrong with your stepmother. Yeah, it was in a Chinese restaurant in Hellraiser. What? You don't want to live with you? Yeah, that's bad translation there. Yeah, She doesn't want to live with herself. Right, <laughs> probably. She can't live with herself. <laughs> she doesn't even want to leave the house. You, 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 I don't want you to move out of the house or you know just because of julia or whatever she's always open this uh this part in the fan subs from hellraiser it's like she doesn't even want to leave the house it's like she's waiting for something it really works when they do that that's a warped picture yeah who knows maybe what she needs is someone to talk to this is from the hellraiser fan subs yeah and that's when she's going to go to the house
it's a sympathetic Larry, I guess. I mean, I just don't understand why he was living with his brother in the house and doesn't realize yeah. that his wife goes away for like hours at an end and then comes back. <laughs> Well, wait, so if his brother was living in the house, where does he think his brother is now? Yeah, I don't know, man. That's that's the whole point. That That's what makes this wrong, this adaptation, because it's like yeah. Frank was dead at the beginning of Hellraiser and he comes up as a ghost. Yeah. And now here he just died and came back and, you know, nobody have, noticed. Have we seen um, Rory and Frank in the same room together interacting? at all i don't think no. so well no. then yeah i think he's been dead the whole time so it's like his spirit i i don't well the way be. they do flashbacks it is really hard to tell maybe we're wrong and maybe they don't all live in the house together no, you know when you no, no no when they were having the dinner they said lukito where's lukito is like oh he's not here he's doing something else so oh well that means everyone's okay. aware that he's been there yeah. all right all right oh, oh he's anyway. arriving on a rickshaw so, you know, like, have you ever seen images of, uh, like, water pipes when they're, like, underground and, like, plumbing and they're sawed open? You see all the gack and the gunk and it's all yeah. and gross. That's what this Frank looks like. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Hey, it's a funny what, what scene. Is, what is this scene about? It's comedy relief. What? One person got out of the rickshaw and now somebody else is getting in. <clears throat> this is so weird. Yeah, I don't know who those characters were. Look, some footage, really bad footage of traffic. What is that Austria bringing a drunk guy home to get his blood? I guess so. I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's Austria. And, now, and that must have been Kirsty, right? Is, Driving uh, up. Yeah, so she's going to see this one. Man, that, yeah. that oh, guy's that's weird. <clears throat> what kind of a hat is that? Indonesian hat, I guess? Yeah, he's got a uniform, like he works in a hotel or something. Maybe he's a bus uh, bellhop. Yeah. Or, yeah. It almost looks like no. Never mind. I was going to say Fez. Oh my god, punch him! Oh my god, I know <laughs> he's so annoying. They haven't even gotten into the room yet. Oh, <laughs> but I must to fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, look at that gunked up sneaker. He I left my... one shoe. Why would he? They. Zoom in on a shoe <laughs> if he's gonna just pick it up. That's supposed to indicate like, oh, someone's going to find it. No, oh, yeah, no, it was just random, stuff. random garbage. Yeah, it's the like, kinky you... you're holding a hammer, so like he looked right at her while she was holding it. Yeah, he was clearly getting ready to build up her swing, and he's like, Hey, I still like you. I like that when she hit him, the subtitle said, ow, 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 ow. Yeah. <laughs> owie, 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 owie. <laughs> wait, wait. I still have one shoe off. Stop. Oh, yeah. And now, yep. Kirstie's seeing the whole thing. Where is she? She's outside. I think she went into the house, but they didn't show her getting into the house. And well, are they all outside? This lighting looks like it's outdoors. No, I think this is in the landing. It's on the premises. You sucked them dry. Should have done like Dracula Dead, loving it with the straw slurping. Yeah. <laughs> right, the cat's out of the bag. It's Frank. It's your Uncle Frank. It's Frank. Lukito. Uncle Luki. Oh, that's why they call him Lucky Lukito, because it's a short for L Lukito. Definitely he was not lucky. He <laughs> has forgotten his lines. Yeah. <laughs> uh, line, please. No, he kind of looks like the Toxic Avenger a little bit. Dude, he's got yeah. such... He, he's like a conehead version of the Toxic Avenger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
You're still too young to understand. Wait, what? Okay. Understand what? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, my question now is, where is Bramasto? Where is the dad? This is his house, right? Yeah. Oh, he's Uh, not dead yet? She's just been killing off the bar. Yeah, that's a good point. They They never showed him killing Bram. Oh, she got the, she got the she, coconut. She's, she's got the coconut. This might lantern. This might have a different ending. I need that to fully return. You want it? Let me just spill out all my weaknesses to you. Mm-hmm. Yes, like like a Bond villain. Let me tell you my plan. This is such a flat scene. They're just standing in front of a white wall. <clears throat> yeah. They could have they could have gotten a more interesting angle in the room. Yeah. Ow. <gasps> but now he's in pain. Yeah, it, didn't, it didn't hurt before, but now it hurts. She punched him in the solar plexus. Yeah. You threw my coconut out the window. That's it. Now my heart and tummy hurt. (laughs) (laughs) Run, Christy. Get in the car. Oh, did she find it? Yeah, she found it. In this movie, Christy has a car, which is a lot more practical. Yeah. There she goes. How is she going to pass out on the sidewalk with all those nuns around her and stuff now? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> she can't wow, hear that, bro. Oh, I guess she can hear it. Sounds like he's saying Thumbelina. Oh, the coconut yeah. is glowing. That looks like a different coconut. Yeah, and in in Hellraiser, that was Kirsty kind of crashing because her, you know, she she was mentally breaking down. Here, he's like casting a magic spell on her. Right, that's true. I. I think it still works though in this one. I mean, yeah. as much as you can call it working. <laughs> Was that mud that hit the windshield? It looked it like, it, looked yeah. like it. Yeah, that that's how you crash a car without damaging it because that belongs to the producer. I mean, I'm learning a <laughs> lot right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning a lot of filmmaking that's right. tricks that's just right. by watching that's- this. That's what. That's why we invited you so that you could learn how to make <laughs> make a movie that doesn't suck. <laughs> this is how you save money, Joe. Release your movie on time. A car fell into a ditch. Yeah, you made all those Hellraiser laments when all you needed was a coconut. Come on, I should make a new. I should do a new Hellbound lament with a coconut and a, and shoot it on my cell phone. A coconut with a with a face with eyebrows on it. <laughs> <laughs> creepy doctor alert what's why does he have it uh, oh, yeah. she was holding on to it for, for like grim death <clears throat> tomorrow but I'm gonna die now <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Doing it, I mean, making it a coconut opens up a whole can of worms because it's not a puzzle anymore. (laughs) And in the movie, what I got was that this was what what, uh, Lukito uses to uh, focus his powers or something. But a coconut is not a box. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I guess it is if you're in Indonesia. I don't think so. We just lost Indonesia. I'm no expert on Indonesia, but I don't think so. I mean, instead of solving a box to open up the hell mouth, do you just stare at the coconut and... I think so. I don't know. I, I can't lights. imagine. Let's see how they're going to avoid opening up the walls. Oh, I'm pretty the sure they're just they're just going to cut to someone in the room with them or something. Wow, they even had a vase with flowers explode. Oh! They did oh, open up a wall. That's... Is that from Hellraiser? No, it's not. No. <laughs> This whole movie's from Hellraiser. I wonder if they're going to have an engineer show wow, up. Wow, that is so bad. What did they do? This is way too much of that red light. Yeah. This is the part of the movie in production where they put the most effort. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at the oh tunnel. Oh, my God. She goes into the labyrinth. 
Are those bookshelves? Probably. I think it this looks is like a, a supermarket uh, aisle. Yeah. Honestly, it looks like a. It looks like an auto repair warehouse. Mm. Like th- those shelves would be where they put all yeah. the parts. Yeah. But those are could be a shopping mall. So are we going to see the engineer now? Yes. Hey, oh, it's a butterball. Butterball, right? The fat dude with one eyebrow. Why is he doing that with his arms? Just to look he, like the engineer, I guess. He's reaching for her. I can't fit! <laughs> oh, God. I've literally had nightmares no. of my father-in-law doing this to me. Chasing oh. me in the thin area. Is that deep throat? Yep, that is her. She's got the wires going into her cheeks and to her throat. But she looks you different You have now. to be punished. I don't get what you mean. You now own the ball. You are ours. <laughs> so that is the hell priestess, apparently. Yeah. You now own the ball. You are ours. And she's got a blindfold on. Oh, Deep Throat's a man. It's a man. <clears throat> yeah, it's a man. It's, it's going to blow fire out of the mouth in a, in a second. I have no interest <laughs> in a man, <laughs> Deep Throat. How can you leave the house now? Oh, yeah, that's uh, Austria and, and uh, Lukito talking. He needs he needs some skin. They forgot to subtitle her. Oh, wait. Yeah. Just skin will do. Man, I would have loved to have seen a shot in the original Hellraiser where Frank was just putting on Larry's skin like like a rubber suit that would have been yeah but that would have ruined the uh that would have ruined the surprise yeah it's not really a surprise when you get there he's got he's got blood all over his face it is a surprise we just forget because we've seen it so many times when you're nine years old watching it for the first time it's shocking (laughs) yeah it is also i shouldn't have watched this at nine when he does the thing (laughs) with the eye where he's adjusting the skin yeah yeah it's a total giveaway yeah Oh, is that Larry? Well, or but it's also Larry. meant to also it's also meant to be a double thing, right? Because it's also supposed to look like he got blood all over himself, attack fighting Larry or fighting Frank, right? And so he's looking at himself in the mirror because he's got blood in his hair and stuff. I understand. So I I wonder if they already made the the switch here. Yeah, I think so. And oh. they didn't. It's, what is that? A spine? I think that was Christie's hospital room, right? Um, is it? Yeah, oh yeah, a nurse. That's so got a, she's boyfriend. got a new vase of flowers after the last one exploded. <laughs> they they forgot. Yeah. I I I think what Joe, one of the things you're bringing up is that yes, I think that this movie does a terrible job in establishing where we are making establishing shots they just cut from one scene to the other yeah. and it, it you barely understand what set we're looking at right now because the interiors all look the same the from the bar to the uh, house to the hospital they all look like they're just different rooms in the same house because well they i mean are in all actuality yeah they probably are on production yeah. and which is how you do it <laughs> And you're yeah. probably right. They probably did the whole thing, like looking at the movie every once in a while and going back to it because they even had like Austria, like kissing Frank's fingers and stuff, <clears throat> you know, mm-hmm. and this scene, it's just the same shot as Hellraiser. Yeah. He's even got the blood in his hairline there. Yeah. So points for copying it in certain spots so well, but. No, I don't give them points for that. I think it's yeah. kind of an insult. I mean, yeah. there's got to be more information as to why this exists and whose idea it was. And who... I bet you, it. I bet you, it's something weird. Like they wouldn't translate Hellraiser into Indonesian, so they're like, okay, we're gonna make our own. So maybe they, maybe they did buy licensing for it. You don't know. Mm-hmm. We don't know yeah. yet. I mean, this is a this so. is an utter mystery as to why it yeah. exists. I mean, are these filmmakers even still alive? Well, and and we know about this because we're Clive Barker fans. What if there's all kinds of movies like this? 
you know, where they rip off other movies. Well, yeah, they are. I mean, you've seen Turkish Star <clears throat> Wars, you know. I mean, in I, Indonesia. I don't think I've ever watched Turkish Star Wars. Yeah, it's funny. This confrontation is an excellent point in the movie because everything starts getting really into high gear after this. Because that's when she goes upstairs and then she sees the Cenobites and then all hell breaks loose. I guess we were talking over it. I kind of missed when she made the bargain with the Cenobites. And she just said that. How how did she get out of the? She just said the ball was not hers. It's Lukito's. That's it? I saw I that so. part. And yeah. then what? They they left? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think so. They just cut to something else. Yeah. They cut to uh, Austria and, and uh, <clears throat> Lukito talking about how he needs skin. It's like, wow, this room is really big. <laughs> and dark. Her hair is big, too. Kirsty's hair was kind of like that. Yeah, that's true. Which is probably what they were going for. Nobody really mentions, but Ashley Lawrence between Hellraiser 1 and 2, her hair changes quite a bit. Even though there's yeah. like less than a 24-hour time span yeah. between the two movies. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot more curly and has more volume. Yeah. It's, it, it's only it, it's even only a year between when they shot one and the other. But the, they changed the boyfriend, didn't they? Uh, yeah, no. Well, it's, it was the it's, same it's, guy, I think. No, it's a different boyfriend in the first one than the second movie. But it's only like a like I said, a twenty four hour period in the story between the two. Well, Steve films. took off. She never saw him again, and then she sort mm-hmm. of, and then it was the <clears throat> Kyle from the hospital wasn't really a boyfriend. I mean, there was a there was a. Um... Oh, looks so that's that's why she uh, has the sunglasses. So oh, they use okay. the butterball thing and put yeah. it on this centipede. So, and I haven't read the toll yet, but do, do they explain that in the toll? Because that's between one and two. Explain what? Um, the time that passes between. No, Hellbound no, the, the toll Hellbound. is more like after Hellraiser two. Yeah, oh, it takes it place is. like yeah. twenty years after you know yeah. what happened it's, in so it's between, Street. It's between Hellraiser two and and um, Scarlet Gospels and Scarlet Gospels. Oh, it sort of bridges the gap in between. That's a lot of gap. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, and it's and it's sort of saying all those other Hellraiser sequels didn't exist. Boo. <laughs> and Christy right. becomes like a international expert in Hellraiser and demons and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. A secret you have agent ruined and... my plans. You Stop. must die now. Yeah, I need to get that book still. It's cheap now, but I mean it is. <laughs> oh, Oh, that is oh, such wow. a copied shot. It is. Mm, damn you. <laughs> she didn't even move. Yeah. Julia oh, didn't wait. yell at all, but Kirsty's yelling all, all yelling like crazy. What? He was right there, <clears throat> man. That and makes they, absolutely no it, sense as to why they, that happened. And they did a terrible job with the shot because they should have shown the knife in Julia, and they didn't. <clears throat> So it's even more confusing. We only know what happened because we know Hellraiser. And she runs upstairs into the damp room. Yeah. Damp room. Now it's got like weird ropes on the walls. Well, wanted to remodel the room. <laughs> yeah. They took down all the um, tools and spears and stuff. And now they got ropes. This is like the part where she's trying to escape from room to room and then she comes across the cadavers of the guys that were killed. Yeah. You mean Frank didn't finish his meal? Look, they even have that skull sitting in a chair like that teaser poster from Hellraiser. Yeah. (laughs) Satan's done waiting. That's right. (laughs) That yeah, I wonder. We'll have to ask Stephen Jones who came up with that tagline. Yeah. It's not a bad tagline, but it feels like it was a little disconnected from what the movie is about. Yeah. 
I always thought the best tagline for Hellraiser was "There are no limits." Yeah, that that really one captures. did a, that one did a better job. Yeah, Satan's not really in Hellraiser. Right. <laughs> not even a cameo. I'm sorry if I'm not talking a lot, but I'm actually kind of like getting into this part of the movie now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm having a hard time caring what happens to these people. All right. So. Well, because also we know how Hellraiser ends. And so what we're going to see is just a cheap version of that. I'm looking forward to seeing special effects near the end, because I know that for sure yeah. there's a Cenobite that's going to blow <clears throat> uh, fire mm-hmm. and it's going to be just painted on the movie. OK, I guess we'll see that. He's holding... He does a he does a good job in looking a little more unhinged and evil than his uh, uh, previous counterpart. Yeah. And then she's in the black void. Yeah, I know. Hey, sweet Velcro sneakers. <laughs> yeah. Who has time to tie their shoes? Oh my god, this needed to be just five minutes. Come on. <laughs> now she's gonna realize that that's her dad. This is your papa's body. Oh, she doesn't have to realize it because he'll tell her. Yeah. This is one of those bad movies where they tell you, they don't show you. Yeah. Or they show you, but you can't make out what's on the screen. So So they have to tell you. Yeah. Now he's we want to hear him confess himself. I think it would have been great if they were copying Hellraiser so much to put the bell tone. Yeah. Bong. Yeah. How hard would that have been? Not hard. Yeah. Just go outside get... and read a church bell and drop it in. Yeah. I mean, because it's like you can take the bell from Hellraiser and then Seraphim would have been like, oh, we own that sound and we can sue you for that sound. And they would have had every right. Sure. But they also could have just yeah. gone outside and recorded their own bell sound, which sounds exactly the same. Yeah, right. But it would have been their recording. Oh, um, look, he's getting chained. Oh, is that what's happening? It's not very convincing, I have to say. It's Where's not chains? especially because the chains are going down and his arms. Yeah, they're are not they're up. not stretched out. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Heck yeah. You know why they didn't have a pinhead in this movie? Probably they couldn't couldn't figure out how to make the the makeup. Yeah. No, every I I've never seen anybody do a successful pinhead. Oh, there's the fire standards. uh, Unless it's like a professional artist who does like the whole uh, mask and everything to build and. Oh, you're getting Dude, sucked up into my coconut jack o' lantern. That looks straight. Wait, up it's like making her melt. Grace Kirby. Yeah. Like with the it's, whole. It's a man, though. I think. Every centibite is a man. Oh, oh, look. oh my God! Well, that that's a little bit of a departure. Looks like an eye omelet. <laughs> Didn't we just look at that shot earlier? Probably. Yeah, when but the now she was she used that to melt the centibite. She's like, ah, oh, I feel so much better. Oh wait. There's another one. No, it's Julia. Okay. Julia, this is, Julia. This or is clearly emulating. What are they doing, dude? What are they doing? Oh, that's the Cenobite. This is, is ridiculous. Is oh, that, my God. Is that, or is that Se- Julia who's been stabbed? This, dude, this is, is, this is why you have to, like, this is why you have to, uh, you know, work the scene before running the camera that scene was just ridiculous that they were doing yeah it was awful and also you know she did she was given the coconut in the hospital right yeah and then when she trips over oh ho, ho, look at that when she trips over the body of her dad it looks like she just grabs the coconut that's standing on the on the floor there i mean she didn't carry yeah. it with her so yeah another another one bites the dust yeah so now we know why there's no row two because she melted all the Cenobites. Uh. 
It's like this coconut rocks. <laughs> Which one is this one? Oh, that's Butterball slash engineer. Slash Tor Johnson Cenobite. Yeah. That is Tor a Tor Johnson, Johnson Cenobite. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, oh, that's the boyfriend. Oh. He is like Tor Johnson. He looks just like him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when did Tor die? <laughs> 1970s yeah. or something? Heard the boyfriend's like, did you just murder that guy? Oh, look, the house is falling down. Just yeah. like in the first one. Oh, no, my horrible horse painting. I think I'm not, five dollars for that. I think I'm not alone in saying that. When I saw the Hellraiser, uh, the first one at the end, and the house all like, oh yeah, holy moly, dude! Yeah, what was that? I I thought the house burned down. I I used to think the house burned down because of that rubble pile that she's standing in at the end. Yo, is that a miniature? That's a good job, dude. That looks like a whole building is just on fire. That or the yeah. producer was planning on destroying the property. <laughs> What insurance do they have insurance in Indonesia? I don't know. Oh, wait, yeah, oh, it's that's over. it. Wow, the boyfriend's it... like, I saved the day. Yes, <laughs> yes, I saved everyone. <laughs> wow, dude, they didn't even have the, the derelict come in and take the box. No, they're they're like, screw, they saw the dragon, they're like, screw that. They didn't have any derelict in this movie. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. No puzzle guardian, no yeah. um... special effects. Nuriadi Soli. Well, Johnny, they had that, that old old man wizard guy. I think he was supposed to be like Kersher, the puzzle guardian. I missed right, that right. part. Every review on Letterboxd says it's a Hellraiser ripoff, beat for beat. Laboratory yeah. Mandarin film, Hong Kong. Well, it's probably more like 75% of the beats, right? Or 80%, maybe. I felt like it was pretty on point of, this is what yeah. we want to make, but we don't have the skill set to make it. So we're going to do it yeah. anyway. I'm going to guess Tamat means the end. And that's the end of the movie. Or the, uh, or the it's starting credits. over. Oh, yeah. Stop it. Stop it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're all trapped in hell now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, so how many thumbs up would you give that? I'd give it a zero thumbs out of 37. I give it one really scratch bleeding half thumbs up. <laughs> I give it I give it a really fat hammer thumb. Yeah. Mostly like struggling to go up because they tried. Yeah. Money went into that and it was money lost. That's yep. true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it, it's it's hard. Like Jose was saying, the the special effects were really impressive in some parts, and it's all wasted because the rest of the movie is so terrible. Right. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, it's they obviously tried to make something. Why they chose to rip off Hellraiser, I do not know. Yeah. Uh, I I mean, I could see why you know how a lot of it was done. I just don't understand why it was done. Yeah. Um, you know, if you got the money, if you got some money, you know, you'd be surprised what you can do about, you can knock out a script in a few weeks, good or bad, and mm -hmm. go make something. These people, yeah. why? <laughs> why? That's well, all. And, and some, I mean, like we were saying beat for beat, but then when you think about some of the choices they made, like the, the coconut, right? It's like right. they could have done a puzzle box. They didn't have to make it a coconut jack o' lantern, right? That would have I worked a lot better. A lot yeah. of it might have been aesthetic choices. They probably watched Hellraiser and went, "I could do better." Yeah, and yeah. Like, they're no, like, you know what's a box isn't scary. You know what's scary is a jack o' lantern, a coconut jack o' lantern. Yeah, we don't have pumpkins in Indonesia, so they didn't know what pumpkins were. <laughs> 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 I don't know this. Yeah, if you put a flashlight in a coconut that looks like that's a jack o' lantern, now that's scary. I will say this: it was better than Barn of the Blood Lump. Sure. Was it? Oh yeah. Well, Bar it made more sense. The story made more sense than Barn of the Blood Lump. But we already had context going in because we've seen Hellraiser. So oh, yeah. if you're a person that's never seen Hellraiser and you watch this movie, would it make sense? I'm gonna I say only maybe half. 
I highly doubt you have a single follower that has not watched at least the first Hellraiser. Well, that's what I'm saying. No. But it, it, but if if someone if someone saw that like in Indonesia and they're watching that movie and they they haven't seen Hellraiser because that's oh. probably why it was made, um, would that movie make sense? I kind of right. think not as so much. Maybe maybe you could put together about half of it. Well, we're only going off of the subtitles and we you were mentioning That's earlier true. like the translations just they they they're different, you know, in any yeah. language. Um so it 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 could. I mean, we don't speak the language. We're just going off of the subtitles that are clearly yeah. jacked up, but um, Well, but it also was hard to follow because of the way they shot it. Yeah. Yeah. And there was no, there were really no establishing shots. Yeah. And like Jose mentioned right in the beginning that the actors looked similar to each other and they all looked like the same age. Well, so keeping I, track I, of which one is the stepdaughter and which one is the stepmother is not easy either. Also, I think that just comes <clears throat> with uh, our eyes, uh, mm -hmm. us not being. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, that could be part of it too. You yeah. Know, we're not it's, used to uh, it's, the appearance. It's a, it, it might be a cultural thing. Yeah, but um, maybe they really are did have an age difference, and we just didn't notice it. Right. Well, I mean, like I've been bartending for twenty years, and the older I get, the harder it is to tell people's age. Yeah, like, you know, younger people are all like nineteen to twenty nine. They're all starting to look the same to me. Yeah, unless they're seriously torn up. <laughs> we uh, we hope you guys enjoyed Row, yeah, nineteen eighty nine. Uh, Indonesian Hellraiser, at least that's what we we, we yeah. found it at. Um, what next, is no, coming up next? Yeah, so our next thing we're gonna do the we're gonna return to the book club of blood. So I hope everybody liked it last time because we're doing it again. Nice. Uh, we're gonna talk about the midnight meat train. Um, so that will be our next one. Then you know after that, at some point, we'll go back to Hellraiser Quartet of Torment Disc Four. We wanted uh, we talked about that a few times and asked Pete Atkins to uh, if he might be able to join us, but he's got a deadline for something, so he can't um, he he won't be available for that for a little while. Uh, and then Collector's Corner, we want to do a Nightbreed episode about on Collector's Corner, and more Jericho Squad. I think that'll be in early December. We're looking at maybe for Jericho Squad if that works for everybody. Early when December. Thanks for joining us for this wonderful commentary. And and Joe, <laughs> what's going on with uh, Little Spark Films? Do you well, want to drop some things? Yeah. Um, Vice Mers is finished. Mm -hmm. And it's been sent to Troma yesterday morning. Oh. Uh, about, about 10 a.m. So we're going to see what happens. But it's awesome. finished, finally. Um, and then Death World should be finished. Uh, it's post-production completely by mid-December, I hope. I'm waiting on a few more things from like my music and VFX shots and the stop-motion animation shot. Uh, and then the start... music, is it going to be Paragraph Taylor? Oh, of course. Paragraph. He's Yay. On it. Yeah, and then uh, I got to uh, you know, get all those perks set up. But pretty much Death World should be finished by December, so hopefully you can start its film festivals in January. And then... I am out of a project for the first time since the seventh grade. I don't wow. have a project. I started us on Blue Sky. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. We're at, at, at Barker Cast on Blue Sky. It's uh, a replacement yeah. for Twitter, right? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm I've I'm getting not getting good feelings about Twitter. And no. I mean, we we I do a lot on there. I have been doing a lot on there with our podcast, but you know, it seems like it's getting worse and worse and it's getting harder and harder just to find the stuff that I used to share all the time. It's like they they load so much political garbage in, in, into your feed that it's hard to find the friends that you're supposed to be following. I guess it was a fun movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, it, was it was fun hanging out with you guys. I don't know if it was a fun movie. Yeah, well, it fun, I, it at least it was an experience it. for sure. And I, yeah, I, now we feel now like... we can say that we've seen it. That's right. The, That's I, very yeah. true. Well, and this podcast having no beginning will have no end. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you have subscribed. You can find the Clive Barker Podcast wherever you find audio. Show notes for this episode, as well as news and reviews, can be found at our website at www.clivebarkercast.com. 
The Clive Barker Podcast, or BarkerCast, is an independent editorial podcast and blog that is not affiliated with or under contract by Clive Barker or Seraphim Inc. This is a labor of love by the fans for the fans. You can chat with us on our Facebook BarkerCast listeners group, our Facebook page, Twitter, or our Discord server. The best way to support us is to buy our book, The BarkerCast Interviews, Occupy Midian, available in hardcover on Amazon and ebook on Amazon and Apple Books. Fundraiser 10 is all about Patreon this year. Become a patron to get access to exclusive stuff. Pick an episode topic and maybe even get cool stuff in the mail. You can also buy a t-shirt on our Tee Public store. Go to tpublic.com and search for BarkerCast. Leave a message for us using the SpeakPipe link on our blog. Opening and ending music generously provided by Ray Norrish. Thanks for listening.